After 10 years of marriage, my husband stopped touching me. I'm sorry, honey. I'm tired from work. In order to keep our love alive, I took some drastic measures. I give you the right to cheat on me once. However, Clark just looked at me angrily and silently turned away. We didn't speak for a whole week. He was thinking about it, consulting with his friends, and then... I'll do it. I just want everything to be fair, so you also have the right to cheat on me. I wasn't going to cheat on my husband, and deep down, I hoped that he would also refuse to do it. But shortly after, my best friend sent me a shocking photo of Clark with some young, beautiful girl. What else did I expect? I gave him permission to. A couple of days later, I got another photo. But within you, mistress. By the time I saw the third photo of him cheating, my patience went out the window. Well, now there will be consequences. I bought the most luxurious dress at the most expensive boutique. Then I spent five hours at a trendy beauty salon. I paid for everything with my husband's card. And went to a club. Now I will use my right to cheat as well. I quickly got surrounded by men on the dance floor who complimented me and offered me drinks. I was glad that I was still popular. But my love for Clark was so strong that I could see his face in every man who tried to approach me. I wanted to wash up and go home. But a nasty guy stopped me near the bathroom. Hey, babe. Wanna finish my beer? No, thanks. He started walking towards me. Don't make a scene. I know. You want to go to my place? He then pushed me against the wall. Don't touch me. I'm going to. We're all alone here. No one will hear us because of the loud music. As soon as he tried to grab my waist, someone's hand stopped him. She told you not to touch her. Okay, easy. I didn't know she already had a man. Clark came out of nowhere and saved me. Thank God you paid with my card. It helped me track you down. Come on. Clark took me to the beach that night. I was happy and glad that he was being romantic until I recognized one of his young mistresses from the photos my friend sent me. You're such a bastard. How could you think it was a good idea to introduce me to your mistresses? I never even thought about cheating on you. These girls helped me secretly organize our second wedding. She made us a cake. She found a priest. And she made a wedding dress and a suit for us. Not believing my luck, I put on the dress and Clark and I ended up at the altar. Routine almost destroyed our love. But after you told me that I could cheat on you, I realized that it was time to act. That's why I decided to organize a second wedding for us. To rekindle our love. My new classmate fat shamed me, not knowing that I was pregnant with her boyfriend's baby. Are you carrying triplets? 
Or have you eaten a hippopotamus? <laughs> I started to feel nauseous in class. So I ran out to the bathroom with my classmates laughing at me. However, they were already waiting for me on the way back. Honey, meet our new laughing stock, Polly. It's a pity there are no sumo classes at school. <laughs> she could become a champion with that weight. <laughs> Come on, honey. I'll take you to cheerlead in practice. Wait here for me, okay? Later, Brandon came back and became as affectionate as he was at home when I helped him with math. When is our next class? I miss your curvaceous body. Everyone thought Brandon liked skinny girls, but the truth was that he was ashamed of liking chubby girls. Our classes are over. My mom kicked me out of the house when she learned I was pregnant. What? You're pregnant? With my baby? Yes. Our baby will be born in the summer. Don't be stupid. Get rid of it. And let's continue with our classes. After what you just said, I don't want to see you anymore. No. I'm the one who doesn't want to see you. Get your stuff. You'll be out of here tomorrow. Brandon's mother was the school's principal, and he immediately went to her. Mom, Priscilla's new classmate should be kicked out of school immediately. Why? She's pregnant. Can you imagine what kind of example she will set for other schoolgirls? Brandon, isn't she the prodigy girl? who helped you with math at home? Yes, it's her, but I wasn't expecting such immorality from her. The next day was one of the worst days of my life. The school principal walked in right in the middle of class. I hate to tell you this, but depravity knocked on our school's door, and its name is Polly James. Get up here. Show everyone your belly. What a turn of events. It's true what they say. Still waters run deep. Shame on you and whoever did this to you. If he is from our school, say his name. He will be expelled. None of our guys would ever look at her. It must have been some alcoholic from her poor neighborhood. I did not reply to Priscilla, although I wanted to. I confidently looked into the eyes of my son's grandmother and left the classroom without saying a word. I was expelled three months before my final exams. And I had neither a complete education or a roof over my head. I got a job as a cleaning lady at the university in order to afford social housing. One day after class, a mathematics teacher caught me doing something I shouldn't have. I... I'll erase everything. I'll get it back the way it was. No, don't. Leave it as it is. You have a rare gift. None of my students could solve this equation. The professor was so impressed with my talent that he helped me with the daycare center for my baby. And I got into university, having graduated with honors. After graduation, I got a job at my old school. I didn't think that a girl with loose morals would become such a successful specialist. Brandon and Priscilla failed to have children for a very long time, so eventually they started drowning in their sorrow. I never became a grandmother. You are a grandmother. Really? He looks just like Brandon, but it doesn't matter, does it? You'll never be able to forgive me. 
Time will tell. Remember, God doesn't give us more than we can handle. He helps us handle what we give Him.